weather during the summer holidays can vary greatly. Wherever you are in the world, it might be winter or it may be hot and summery. So in the UK, we know that our summer isn't always particularly hot. So preparing for those changes in weather can be really difficult. For people with sensory processing difficulties, the weather is one of the most difficult things for a lot of people. And that's because of its unpredictability, because we can't control it, and therefore being able to support ourselves can be incredibly difficult. So thinking about things like wind, all times of year we have wind, so that light touch, the sound, the feeling, the temperature on my skin, all of those things can be particularly overwhelming for someone who's hypersensitive to touch. The sound, maybe that whirring, a really high frequency, high, high pitched sound, may be painful or distracting for someone who's hypersensitive to sound. Thinking about the heat, if it's hot and it's sunny, visually it's very bright, colours are intensified, so for people who are hypersensitive to visual information can be really difficult. It may be distracting when walking around because of all the shadows and a bit confusing, so people may get disorientated easily. Other ways we can think about relating to when it's sunny is the temperature and so again clothing that we wear but also the way that our skin feels. So when we're hot we feel sweaty, we feel clammy and that can be particularly difficult because we're feeling more about where our body is but we're also getting that tactile experience therefore we also get smell if we sweat. So there's so many changes that happen relating to the weather it's a particularly difficult aspect that we we can't control so being able to support people with sensory processing difficulties can be really difficult the best thing we can do is if we understand and recognize someone's overriding sensory needs then we'll have a better understanding of why they may like particular weather or why they find particular locations really difficult because maybe the wind rustles all the leaves in the trees when you're in the park and that can be particularly overwhelming for someone who's hypersensitive to sound for example. Or in the same way, maybe it's the visual input. So when the wind blows and the leaves all move, maybe that's the extra visual stimulation which can easily overwhelm. Or maybe you, you support a, someone who's a visual seeker, so hyper-sensitive to visual information. So therefore, when the leaves do move, it can be incredibly engaging for them because that's their sensory input that they're requiring.